In this video, we're going to cover some more intermediate level mimic design, specifically mimic templates. If you're unfamiliar with mimic design, it's highly recommended that you view our video titled The Basics of Mimic Design. This video will take you through all of the steps you need to create your first mimic. If you're familiar with mimic design, this video will serve you well on demonstrating how to template documents. Let's say we're working on a system for a wind turbine farm. We'd have a need to display a set of information graphically, possibly hundreds of times to account for each turbine in the installation. It'd be great if we had a way to display the data for each one at any given point without having to make a screen for each one. In Status Enterprise, you can accomplish this with the help of a mimic template. Mimic templates are mimics designed for a specific type, so you can create a template that gets used anywhere that type needs to be presented. I'm going to open my model browser up so I can show you how this works. I'll then click the connect button and wait for it to finish logging in. And then I'll start browsing through my assets until I find the wind turbine view. Next, I'm going to come down to my mimic templates and find wind turbine overview template and open it. I'll then change the view so we can compare these assets side by side. And you'll notice that all three of these have the same look from our mimic template, but some of the number values are being displayed differently since they're coming from different assets. This reusability allows you to save a tremendous amount of time in your design phase of your project. It also allows you to create a consistent look and feel for each set of data being displayed. Now that we've seen how mimic templates work, let's go through the steps of creating one now. To do this, I'm going to open the Mimic Designer so we can get started. I'll then click the Connect button and wait for it to finish logging in. Next, I'll need to create a new Mimic by clicking the New Mimic button in the top left. This will open the Create Mimic dialog where we can choose the type we want to use and give our Mimic a name. For this demonstration, I'm going to find the Generator type in our Equipment group. Next, I'll leave the document name as Generator Template and click OK so we can create our Mimic. Right off the bat, you'll notice that the Mimic design area itself hasn't changed. To see what's different, we'll need to take a look at the binding panel. The very first thing you'll see is that we now have a relative type tree as an option in our binding list. If we expand this, we'll see the type that we chose, and then if we expand the type, we'll see any available properties listed here. It's important to note that when binding to these properties, the bindings are relative, which means that they aren't attached to any specific asset. Rather, these bindings are acting as a reference for the mimic when it's open, pointing the mimic to the requested asset's property paths. Now that we have a better understanding of how relative bindings work, let's add some controls to this mimic so we can set a few bindings up. The first thing I'm going to add to this mimic is a text block, so I'm going to open the common controls group, find text block, and then draw it out on the screen. Next, I'll go to the properties panel and change the font size to 24 so we can see it better. Now I'll go back to my toolbox, find the gauges group, select a racing gauge, and then draw this out on the screen nice and big so we can see it. Now we're ready to create a couple of bindings, so I'm going to select my text block, then choose parent name from the available items on the generator. I'll then choose value as the property and click OK to apply this binding to the text block. Next, I'll select the racing gauge. This time I'll select RPM as the item and then value as the property. I'll click apply again and now we have our binding set up on the gauge. Before we view this, I'll need to change the maximum on the gauge since the RPM value goes up to approximately 1500. You'll also notice that the gauge is grayed out because of the binding being applied to it as well. So I'll go into the property panel. I'll change the maximum to 1500. Now that I've set the maximum on this gauge, I'll need to save the mimic, so I'm going to click the save icon to open the save dialog. Next, I'll select my mimics view, then click OK. And our mimic is now saved and ready to be used. We're now ready to see how you can view your various assets with a Mimic template, so I'm going to go back to the model browser so we can test this out. 
I'll then click the connect button and wait for it to log in. Once it's done that, I'll go through my model and find the TB1001 asset, then select the generator component on it. Next, I'll come down to my mimics view, find my generator template we created a little bit ago, and double click it to open it. You'll see that we're getting data from our model, displaying the TB1001 name and the generator RPM. Next, I'm going to collapse the TB1001 and find TB1002, select the generator on that, and then open our Mimic again. Then I'll find TB1003, select the generator on it, and open our Mimic again. Now that I have all three of my assets open, I need to change the property value on one of them. To do this, I'm going to find the generator on the TB1001 asset. I'll select it, then switch to the property table tab. I'll then double click the property table icon to bring up the list of its properties and change the RPM value to 1400. Now I can close this property list and change my view so I can compare these side by side. You'll notice that the TB1001 asset is showing 1400 as the RPM while TB1002 and 1003 are showing 1378. This illustrates how you can use Mimic templates to remove a large portion, if not all of the repetitive work you need to do if you wanted to display data like this in your system. In closing, Status Enterprise is a powerful, easy to use tool that lets you design once and deploy multiple times. For more information about Status Enterprise and Mimic templating, please visit us on the web at www dot skata dot com